Hi everyone, Lazyfire here. Welcome back to Wolfenstein The New Order. Today we're going to try to get out of th this situation here. It's not looking good, by the way. We have our marksman back. Look at that. And it's, uh, you can hit C and switch to energy weapon form anytime you like. But, well, that's a scripted event. This is actually one of the cooler ones in the game, by the way. Right. I love that sequence. <laughs> All right. Well. That that sequence there is just absolutely amazing. I love it. All right. We're gonna have to try to get ourselves out of this corner here. I have. Yep. Okay. You can see we're getting shot at a little bit here. I'm getting stuck on furniture as well. Nope. There we go. Took care of that guy pretty quick. I'm standing right next to explosives. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. And this is actually, a lot of this is parts of the one in Nautica we would not have seen uh, on our previous mission. You know, the upper floors, the officer club kind of areas. Get forward a little bit. We've got 80 an 80 health box back here. Last Still driving handsome. Closing in on the Nautica parking lot. Roger. Moscow, well, you need. This is Berlin calling. Let's pick up the pace now, yeah? We're looking monitors back in service. And... Damn that fucking shite! We're under attack! Hey, you! Lock that door! Fuck, Glasgow, they found us out. They're breaking through the door. I've got a move. Caroline, come with me! That's how to leave you, they fuck me! Come back to in as fast as you fucking can! Out. Hold on, honey. I'm coming home. So, yes, uh, there's your twist in the story. The Berlin base is being besieged right now. And we got our shotgun back. So... Not exactly a ton of ammo for it right now, but, you know, what's, what's really the harm in using it a bit more, huh? Actually... Right now, we want to use this. Oh, I forgot you have to jump there. That's my mistake. <laughs> I was so concerned with uh, making sure I didn't screw up, I screwed up. But we'll just uh, go through this little loading screen. It's another chance to uh, have some people refresh us on German and uh, continue on. Now there's actually an area here. You don't have to knock down both of these. You can actually just knock down any one of them. But uh, if you knock down, knock them down in the right order, you can get to where Enigma code would normally be, which I think is kind of neat. Yeah, see? Maybe an optical illusion was the issue there. Uh, but... Yeah, that's our only way forward. Why not? Shrapnel rounds are fun. You could actually kill that guy around the corner with some shrapnel rounds had you wanted. He's apparently very strong, though. Alright, this is a tough little fight if you're not prepared for it being a different fight. If that makes any sense. Partially because of that moment. We're gonna wait for him. No grenades, by the way. There we go. Well, that's the end of that problem. Unfortunately, we have a brand new set of problems, including the fucking stunning lack of health I have right now because of that. I don't know why I'm looking at things when I know I shouldn't be. Oof. I seem to recall more people being in here. But this is a good time as any to restock and pick up. Oh, 
There it is. Is anyone else? Yep, there. That's what I thought. There's some things in this that are just difficult to spot at times. Oh, and check this out. Dia 4. Ein weiteres Drohnengeschwader wird auf dem Planeten nach Anzeichen für Leben suchen und dabei sogar bakterielle Aktivitäten wahrnehmen. Nächstes Dia. Dia 5. Der Wohnballon wird mit den gewonnenen Bodenschätzen in eine schwebende Stadt verwandelt, in der Angehörige von Militär und Wissenschaft mit ihren Familien leben. Nächstes Dia. So, yes, there's a whole slideshow here. Dia 6. In der dritten Phase werden aus den gewonnenen Bodenschätzen atmosphärische Transformationsbogen konstruiert und in die Oberfläche der Venus gebohrt. Nächstes Dia. Um, going through that entire thing would probably drive some of you guys nuts, so I'm not gonna do that. But look at this. So our actions have apparently uh, done wonders for the resistance movements in some of the uh, captured areas, or as the Nazis may see them liberated. Uh, and this thing here, well, that's going to come into play a little later on. Perfect. Everything I can grab that isn't bolted down. What I'm looking for here. Ah. No. There's, um. Huh. Very concerned. There's a painting in here that you could actually manipulate and open up a secret door, but. Up. Ah. There we go. I still know some of the secrets. Old school monitors. Rockets. There's usually an Enigma code in here, too. Rockets are going to be very fun to use in this area. I'm going to actually try to use some of these things that I may have missed in the past uh, throughout this level and other ones, because I just... Uh, it's one of those things, I get very concerned that I'm just not going to have the firepower I need at times when I need it. Uh, and so I get very... Uh, selective in when I will use my weaponry, and this game is no exception. I always worry that, you know, you're never going to have enough of this one thing or this other thing, so I'm very careful. Uh, surprisingly, I don't need any of that. That's weird. Hi, friend. Let's take a step back here. Well... I'm either terrible at this, or he's just really good at dodging. He ain't pretty no more, though. Or is he? Or is he? Oh, well, he survived. Oh, he ran away like a punk. No! Alright. Pick up some ammo, and get moving. This is a... The, listen to the music in this section once again. It's a, it's a song that, or, well, a track that really makes you want to kind of run through this area and, and just, you know, rush through it. And that's really what this area needs. And one of the game, once again, talking about this game, uh, the music selection and, well, just the music in general is really good. Oh, that's why I wanted to save my rocket ammo. Forgot about that. Okay. Well, I'm terrible at fighting this motherfucker. Good luck, me. Come on. Yeah, one hit. That's all I usually get with this thing. Alright. Oh. There we go. I'm better at shooting helicopters down in Battlefield than I am in this game. Luckily, you only have to do it once. Marksman ammo. We haven't seen marksman ammo in quite some time. Uh, but... Looks like uh, it might be time to go sniping. What do you say? He's probably not happy about it. Okay, just, yeah, thank you. These guys keep taking advantage of the fact that I'm terrible with sniper rifles to dodge all my bullets. Missed that, that grenade's gone out to the city. Oof. Alright. 
Good deal. What the hell's wrong with you? Alright. Continue on. It's actually going down. I just wanted to come in here and grab this stuff. But whatever. This entire section is basically how low can you go and just keep going lower. Don't like it. Whoa. Didn't want that. Great thing about this game is that about 99% of the time you can shoot yourself out of most situations you're going to get yourself into by being a moron. Um, looks like I'm going to have to do that with the LKW though. Good enough. Good deal. Let's uh, reload our LKW real quick, though. And you saw, I shot that guy just a second ago, killed two more guys, and the LKW is already about a quarter of the way done. So, not feeling too bad about the uh, recharge rate on the thing. Good. Oop, armor. Yes. Great. Alright, let's continue on. Hey, Christmas lights! In a boss arena. Come on, you don't think that's a boss arena? I can't remember if there's guys in this section or not. I'm gonna assume not. Okay. Let's get going. can be a difficult boss fight. Klaus is going to give you a lot of hints and tips on how to fight it, but it's pretty easy uh, at the end of the day. Shoot it in the eye, then wait. Do this. Then run the fuck away. It's not a difficult fight at all. It's uh, actually probably completely appropriate for what you're doing. It's just make sure that you get this guy and hit him a couple times. You don't even need to charge up your rounds, which I think is actually the biggest... Whoa, 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 what the fuck just happened there? Uh-oh. I got caught outside. I don't like this, but it gives us a good chance to look at the monitor in a little bit more detail. You can see it's got machine guns on the side, too. Uh, we're actually probably going to get hit here. Uh, this is going to hurt. He's charging up his eye beam which can seep in here and actually damage you. Uh, but it can also blow apart certain areas of the map. Two down on these things. So... Oh, shit. Wow, that thing is... Just wait for him. It's. It reminds me a bit of the Half Life 2 Strider fight right outside the City Hall area. If I had to say it, it reminds me of any one video game thing. Okay, better run. And here you go, you see the damage he did to this area here. Just recharge, run, recharge, run, recharge. All you really need to do to win this fight. The machine guns underneath are annoying, but if you shoot them out, he just replaces them with other ones. Okay, this is where the fight gets interesting. You've basically just destroyed the motherfucker's ability to fight you in a realistic way, right? 
Well, he doesn't care. What you need to do, shoot him in the eye, and run underneath here, and within like five seconds you have to be able to hit him. This is difficult, and it's often partially a suicide run. You're going to take some damage doing that. Uh, because the machine guns will be firing on you in pretty short order. And, honestly, the, uh... There we go. The game will sometimes fight you on it. But, there goes one of the cooler bosses in the game. He's a bitch to... He's a little punk. I'm on the portable radio. They're inside! Now I put you in the car, we have to drive! Turtling down Shit's Creek now, Johnny Cowboy. I hope we can make it back home in time. Berlin. Come in, Berlin. What's your status? Uh, getting worse. I don't know how much longer we can stick it out. Place is overrun with dead heads, man. I think they're being led by your old friend Frau Engel. Death's head must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. Caroline's with me. We've taken cover in the helicopter hangar. They're trapped. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Where the others are, I don't know. Some are dead, some are hanging on. just turned a soldier's head to liquid, but we're actually going to cut it here. Actually, no. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode.